Okay, let's try this again. So I'm now going to be doing a manual button hole on the 5 Series Bernina. You may get decorative buttons that are larger than a standard button. And if you need to do a manual buttonhole, this is how you're going to do it. Now I've marked two marks the size of the buttonhole I would like. So it's going to be the size of the button plus additional room in which to get the button through the buttonhole. I have on my machine the 3C foot. Let's select our number 51 and I'm going to select manual. Now when I select manual it's telling me which step of the buttonhole I'm on. In this case it's one of seven. So there are seven steps to making a buttonhole. So I'm going to line up my fabric on the very first mark. I'm going to put my needle down and just use my flywheel to make sure I'm right on that dot. Perfect. Let's do the foot down. Stitch number one. Now the screen has automatically switched to number two. So number one was my secure stitch. Now stitch number seven. Sorry. Now stitch number two is highlighted in blue. It'll do that fine zigzag down to the other side. So I'm going to keep stitching until I hit my other mark. Now I'm going to go to step number three. And it's going to reverse sew. And my screen is actually telling me that it's reverse sewing. Now this is on the 5 series. It is programmed in. Now I get to my other mark. Stitch number four, and it will do the bar tack across. So it has now finished the bar tack across. So let's go to step number five. And I'm going to do the zigzag down the next side. And then when I hit the other mark, I want to go to stitch number six. It's going to do the bar tack across the end. Automatically starts. Let's go to seven. And it secures that stitch. And I'm done. And I've made a manual buttonhole. Very easy to do.